ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಎಜುಕೇಶನ್ ಮುನ್ನಡೆ ಚಾನಲ್ ಈ ದಿನ ಅತ್ಯಂತ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಆಗಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಮಾತ್ರ ಡಿಸ್ಕಷನ್ ಮಾಡೋಣ ಅವು ಯಾವ್ಯಾವ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಅಂದರೆ ನಂಬರ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ನೋಡಿ ನಂಬರ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಅಂತಕ್ಕಂಥದ್ರ ಮೇಲೆ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಷನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಹೋಗೋಣ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಟು ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಟ್ಸ್ ಜಾಮಿಟ್ರಿ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಟು ಯೂಕ್ಲಿಟ್ಸ್ ಜಾಮಿಟ್ರಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಗಲ್ಸ್ ಯಾಕೆಂದರೆ ಇನ್ನು ಕೆಲವೇ ದಿನಗಳು ಮಾತ್ರ ಬಾಕಿ ಇದೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಮಂತ್ ಹನ್ನೊಂದನೇ ತಾರೀಕು ನಿಮಗೆ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಗೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಈ ಮೂರು ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಅತ್ಯಂತ ಮುಖ್ಯವಾಗಿ ಬರಲೇಬೇಕಾಗಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಮಾತ್ರ ನಾವು ಡಿಸ್ಕಷನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಹೋಗೋಣ ಈಗ ನಂಬರ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಹೋಗೋಣ ನೋಡಿ ನಂಬರ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಯು ನೋ ದಟ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮಲ್ಲಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ದ ರ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ನಂಬರ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ರ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ನಂಬರ್ಸ್ ದ ನಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಪಿ ಬೈ ಕ್ಯೂ ವೇರ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಝೀರೋ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಎಸ್ ಎ ರ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ನಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಎನಿ ನಂಬರ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಪಿ ಬೈ ಕ್ಯೂ ಇಫ್ ಯು ರೋಟ್ ಪಿ ಬೈ ಕ್ಯೂ ದೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಎಸ್ ಎ ರ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ನಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಸಿ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ದ ರ್ಯಾಷನ್ ನಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಡಿನೋಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಕ್ಯೂ ಲೆಟರ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಸ್ ಸಿ ಮೈನಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಬೈ ಟು ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಬೈ ಫೈವ್ ಝೀರೋ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದಿ ರ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ನಂಬರ್ಸ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಐ ಗೋಂಟ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನಿಂಗ್ ಇರ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ನಂಬರ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಟ್ ಇರ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ನಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಇರ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ನಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಎ ನಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಕೆ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಪಿ ಬೈ ಕ್ಯೂ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕೆ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಪಿ ಬೈ ಕ್ಯೂ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಎಸ್ ಎ ಇರ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ನಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ರೂಟ್ ತ್ರೀ ರೂಟ್ ರೂಟ್ ಟು ರೂಟ್ ತ್ರೀ ರೂಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಪೈ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇ ಇ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಯೂಲರ್ಸ್ ನಂಬರ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸೇ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಯೂಲರ್ಸ್ ನಂಬರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಟ್ ಯೂಲರ್ಸ್ ನಂಬರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇ ರ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಎ ಪೈ ಓಕೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಸಿ ಅನದರ್ ಒನ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಸ್ಡ್ ತ್ರೀ ಝೀರೋ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ತ್ರೀ ಬಾರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಪಿ ಬೈ ಕ್ಯೂ ವೇರ್ ಪಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಆರ್ ಇಂಟೀಜರ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಝೀರೋ ಸಿ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಆಸ್ ದ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಟೇಕ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ಸ್ ಝೀರೋ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ತ್ರೀ 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 ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡ್ಯಾಶ್ ಡಾಟ್ 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 ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಈಕ್ವೇಷನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಒನ್ ದೆನ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈ ಬೈ ಟೆನ್ ದೆನ್ ಟೆನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ತ್ರೀ 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 ವಿಲ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ವೈ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈ ಟೆನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಈ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ಡಿಜಿಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದೇರ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಟೇಕ್ ಸಿ ಒನ್ ಡಿ ಒನ್ ಡಿಜಿಟ್ ಈಸ್ ರಿಪೀಟಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈ ಟೆನ್ ದೆನ್ ಸಿ ತ್ರೀ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ತ್ರೀ 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 ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಟೆನ್ ಎಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಜೀರೋ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ತ್ರೀ 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 ದೆನ್ ಸಿ ಟೆನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಟೆನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ದೆನ್ ವಿ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಟೇಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಟು ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಸೈಡ್ ದೆನ್ ವಿ ಗಾಟ್ ನೈನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ದೆನ್ ತ್ರೀ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಬೈ ನೈನ್ ವೈಲ್ ಡಿವೈಡಿಂಗ್ ವಿ ಗೆಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ತ್ರೀ ಎಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಲಿಸನ್ ಇಯರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಟ್ ಝೀರೋ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ತ್ರೀ ಬಾರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಒನ್ ಬೈ ತ್ರೀ ಬೈ ತ್ರೀ ಬೈ ನೈನ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಒನ್ ಬೈ
4.5 is there but we want 3.5 exactly 3.5 then put the point here and put that is B and make an angle 90 degree at B then we get here 90 degree angle join XM if you joining X, XM then take the XB see we can take here XB then draw like this then this is called as a root 3.5 on the number line root 3.5 on the number line it is the yes we got it exact like this okay like that also we can do it see it is for homework how much so root 7.6 on a number line or we can say represent root 9.3 on a number line or root 5.6 on a number line first we have to do if you, if you take this one means we can draw first 10.3 line segment then after that we can mark it 9 point next one locate root 3 on a number line see this is also very important questions they will ask in the question paper see if you make like this means uh, locate root 3 on a number line means we have to draw a number line first then we can mark it 0 and plus 1 and 2 here plus 2 then left hand side minus 1 like this first we can take uh, this is a b a b that is one unit a b equals one unit a b is one unit and make a 90 degree at b and see cut it by using a b one unit this is also one unit and join o c join the o c by using pythagoras theorem we get o c is equal to root 2 by using pythagoras theorem we can get like this okay then again we have to do, take one centi one unit on point c and make a 90 degree angle at that one and cut like this then join a a d a d if you join that a b again see i will take this one what is that see by using pythagoras theorem a d square equals a c square plus c d square then root 2 whole square plus 1 square means that we get 3 see if it is 3 a d equals a d equals root 3 we got root 3 how we have to do that root 3 on a number line means again see that we can take this distance and draw why which is which distance we have to take ad we can take the distance and draw the line like this by using compasses okay right see this is for homework yours see root 5 is there root 10 is there how how to solve this root 5 see i will give the small hint you can go through like this see here i will take a and this is b i will take here two unit then again make an angle here 90 degree we can take one unit here cut like this one unit and join this one see by using this pythagoras theorem two square plus one square will comes four plus one then what happens four plus one that is equal to five then it is we got here abc means ac equals root 5 on the number line it is clear like this will come okay if it is 10 is there means again see that you can take three points here one two three then a b you can take this is three unit then on b make a 90 degree angle take one unit and join like this okay by using pythagoras theorem here also we get nine three means nine square plus one square sorry three square three square plus one square nine plus one means equals ten will comes that is root ten okay we can draw like this okay do this one okay yes see so next one i will take the another one which is that that is called as a important chapter introduction to euclid geometry introduction to euclid geometry See in the Euclid geometry, we have very important concept. Which are which are those? See in, in that one. First, we have to learn five Euclid's. Yes, Euclid's axioms. 
what we call this one axioms and again five euclid's euclid's postulates see these are very important things in the euclid geometry if you know these five axioms and five postulates postulates means we got two marks okay in this chapter again another point a very important point is there that is called as the undefined terms of the euclid geometry what we call that one undefined terms which are the undefined terms of the euclid geometry means see we can take that one undefined terms of the euclid geometry first we have to take that is first one what we call a point a point this is undefined terms first one second one a line a line and third point a plane a plane these three are called as the undefined terms and defined undefined terms terms of euclid geometry we can say euclid geometry see it is very important these are the uh, three important uh, if you know these three we got two marks that's why in this chapter you can learn only this much no need to learn extra okay i will go to next chapter that is called as a lines and angles lines and angles see in that one very important concept i will take only important concept lines and angles they will ask very first one lines and angles uh, collinear or collinear points first i will take the first one is called as a collinear collinear point what is that collinear points see if three or more if three or more points lie on the same line if three or more points lie on the same line is called as a collinear collinear points i will take a b c d e see these are the points they lie on the same line only that's why it is called as a collinear point if those points does not lie on the same line means it is called as a non collinear we have to say non collinear what is non collinear those points are does not lie on a same line it is called as a non collinear okay if it is collinear means they are those points are lie on the same plane it is called as a collinear point then i will take another important things in this chapter that is complementary angles and supplementary angles are there first i will take complementary angles sum of two angles sum of two angles is equal to the sum of two angles is equal to the 90 degree see two angles i will take 45 plus 45 yes these two angles are complementary angles see 30 degree and 60 degree these two angles are complementary angles and 50 degree and 40 degree yes these two angles are complementary then another concept what is that yes good second one is supplementary angles supplementary angles means a sum of two angles is equal to 180 degree is called as a supplementary angle two angles means 130 yes 50 these two angles are called as a supplementary angles why we have to say this one because sum of these two angles is equal to 180 degree that is called as a supplementary angles next another one is there see very important that is called as a linear pair angles or linear pair angles linear pair angles mean sum of two adjacent angles see sum of two adjacent angles those equal to the 180 degree see i will take these two angles a o b and c angle a o c plus angle angle c o b is equal to the 180 degree we can call it as a 180 degree then this is called as a linear pair angle in this linear pair angles we have the angles sum is equal to 180 degree we can say adjacent angles also how to define this linear pair say sum of uh, adjacent angles is equal to 180 degree then it is called as a linear pair angle on this uh, linear pair angles we can some important question i will brought tomorrow 
yes if you like this video please share it and subscribe thank you one and all